Hello, parents and students of the Muroc Joint Unified School District. Thanks for tuning in again this week. Uh, last week, we put out a survey for all of you. We're going to run it this week through Thursday. We appreciate the responses that we have received already, and I would like to encourage you to please continue to give us feedback. Again, it'll be open through Thursday. We waited a little bit into the school year and let things kind of settle in um, and then now have given you an opportunity to ask us questions. And we had talked about giving you this opportunity. We wanted to wait until we reached a point where the answers to your questions would most likely change. Now it feels as if a lot of the initial questions that popped up when it comes to Kern County Health Department or the California Department of Health, and those questions by at this point seem to have been asked and answers have been received, guidance has been clarified. And so when it comes to questions that you might have, we know that many of them may be health related. And we feel that at this point, we can give you answers that we won't have to come back and, and adjust because the rules have changed on us. So by all means, if you have some questions, comments, anything of that nature, please utilize that survey. We really appreciate feedback and we will be using this throughout the school year at various times to give opportunities. One thing that continues to creep up, not just for us, but uh, earlier this week I had a, a meeting with all the superintendents throughout Kern County and it is a common theme throughout Kern and throughout the state um, as a whole, but we are having a problem just finding people to fill positions. We have an enormous uh, opportunity and advantage over many districts with Edwards Air Force Base in that we have several families that are moving in continually. We also, that also means we have a lot of families that move out. Um, and so it does create some need to fill positions, but so many times we are finding people that can fill open positions through those that move here onto the base. So I'm going to ask a couple things of you today, if you could. Please, one, if you would like a job, if you're interested in a position, reach out to the school district. Uh, the, district cell, the district's number is 760-769-4821. You can call there or reach out to the school site um, and look there. There is a website called edjoin, E-D-J-O-I-N dot org. Edjoin.org is a place where school districts are able to post job openings. If you go there, there's a search bar on the front page. You can type in Muroc, and that alone will get you to all the openings in the school district. So if you're interested in a job, we'd love to hear from you. Second, if you think you might know someone who's looking for employment, please share this information with them. And then third, if you can think of any ways that we might be able to promote better open positions in the district, feel free to utilize the survey to let us know your thoughts and ideas on that. Um, we have great partnerships in the community, um, both in Boron, surrounding communities, and at Edwards, but we really need to leverage your help at this time. Uh, we have some teaching positions that are being filled with substitutes right now. We have a great need for substitute teachers um, and then we have several other positions that, such as campus monitors, um, people that are instructional folks in the classroom that are working with teachers, a lot of different jobs and positions that are available for people. So we could use your help. Everyone right now is struggling to find people to fill their positions, and we have filled almost all of ours, but we still have needs that need to be, need to be met. So if we could ask for your help, that is definitely one thing I would like to be able to do this week. I just want to express appreciation to all of you. It seems, knock on wood, again, that things seem to be kind of flattening out and calming down related to COVID cases in the district. Um, when we see that someone has tested positive, the contact tracing that we have to do is becoming much easier. And thank you to, to all of you, especially you students while you're at school and in your behaviors because wearing your masks and distancing appropriately and following the rules and, and the regulations that we ask you to follow, those are paying off in great dividends. 
Um, we're grateful to be able to say that we're going to be having homecoming and homecoming events and providing opportunities for students that are more traditionally based. Um, the things that we were always accustomed to doing, we are grateful to be bringing many of those back. So thank you for all that you do. We hope that you have a great week. We look forward to your comments and your questions that come up in the survey, and we will talk with you next week. Thank you very much.